On the Nagra Reels, you can hear the full version of a rare piece of music Paul McCartney plays in the opening scene of the Beatles movie, Let It Be. 30 years later, an excerpt of that performance turned up on early copies of Let It Be Naked as a bonus track, Paul's Piano Piece. But for decades, Beatle historians and bloggers have been saying that Paul's Piano Piece is actually a famous orchestral work composed by Samuel Barber. The orchestra have taken their places. We shall hear Adagio for Strings by Samuel Barber. In a world on fire, Adagio for Strings echoed the sentiment of those dark times and rose to international fame when the NBC Symphony Orchestra performed the piece in New York to a radio audience of millions. Given that it is considered by many to be the most popular orchestral work of the 20th century, it seems all but certain that a bright, young, and ever curious Paul McCartney would be familiar with Adagio for Strings. Are Paul's piano piece and Samuel Barber's iconic masterpiece one and the same? Paul's piano piece, I would say that there, there is a similarity in mood to Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings. It kind of has a similar energy. It feels like it could be in the same world. This minor key, very dramatic. And Paul's piece, you've got like the one, five, one, up to the five. And then right here we go to the six. After that, it goes like this. It reminds me of almost like a Beethoven piece or a Bach prelude. So the similarities really is just a couple chords that match up like from the F chord to the G chord here. But it's such a loose connection that it's, it's really hard to draw any connection between Paul's piano piece and Adagio for strings. And I, I do believe that this was inspired maybe by Samuel Barber, maybe by Beethoven, maybe by Bach, but that's about it. That's about where I would draw the line. And then that inspired Paul to go in a different direction with those chords. So it, it has kind of the feel in a couple spots, but entirely different piece. <laughs> 